So hello to my friends in Periscope land. We are at Tasty Bakery. It is a dedicated gluten-free bakery here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And they are also dairy-free and egg-free. We have, we have a lot of vegan choices. Okay, a lot of, oh, hello, it says vegan in the center. Okay, I'm blaming my head cold and not being able to see that. And your most of your stuff is corn-free, right? We, yeah, we're corn-free and soy-free. Okay. So I'm going to turn the camera now on to Julie and I'm let her introduce herself here quickly and then she's going to give us a little tour of her kitchen and tell you a little bit about the products that she uses that are local and um, some of the stuff that she bakes. So pan on to Julie. Hi, Hi. Julie. Hi. <laughs> so tell us a little about yourself and why you did gluten free and a little bit about your business. Okay. Um, I've been a baker pretty much all my life. Mm -hmm. Loved it as a kid. My grandmother said I should be a baker and I never was. Kind of went on and did other things and then found out I had celiac and decided to try to hone my gluten-free skills and um, decided to make a business out of it. Awesome. So. And you're getting lots of hearts, by the way, on Periscope. People oh, are hearting, hey. which means they like what you're saying. So hearts for Julie. <laughs> So tell me a little bit about, um, so you do vegan, tell me why you do that and like what other free from stuff, your products are free from maybe. Okay, all right. Well, the, the vegan thing kind of came out of selfishness because when I first started, I used to complain that when people would come to the farmer's market, they wanted other things like, I'm yeah. sugar free and, mm -hmm. and this and that. And, and I would come home and complain about it. But then these kids would come and their sad faces oh, and I was I like, kids. oh my God, I like do this for them. Then other people, and I'd feel really bad. And then I got tested. I had an allergy. Another after the celiac mm -hmm. diagnosis, had a um, allergy. More allergy testing. And okay. I was allergic to dairy and eggs and sugar and coffee and soy. Oh and no! Corn and on and on and on. So I decided to slowly start developing some of the current recipes that we had and, and others and try to make them mm -hmm. um, you know applicable to, to mm -hmm. other people with other allergens and yeah and I just feel it's really important the things that we get like our chocolate is soy free and, and um, fair trade awesome. and organic I love fair trade yeah vanilla is fair trade and organic awesome um, we really we put a lot of thought in what we do and we really try to um, we're hoping that our research is uh, true to putting clean ingredients in the, in the, the things that we do. We, um, we had a speaker at our church a year ago talk about human trafficking and like Genesee County area is one of, the well Detroit, they include Genesee County, is like I think the second highest for human trafficking oh. in the country. Mm -hmm. And so that's really awesome that you are ahead of the curve here and thinking yeah. about those types of things. Because people don't realize like how much human trafficking happens with cocoa and You're coffee right. and right. It's, it's really awesome. So now I have to buy fair trade coke coffee and chocolate for my husband yes. but it's worth it yeah it so, is worth it it's definitely worth and you said you, you buy local products we buy uh, local as mm -hmm. much as we can right right now, obviously we use coconut oil and we use right. coconut um, organic coconut oil and organic um coconut nectar and sugar and mm -hmm. those come from sri lanka so we right yeah those local yeah yeah but we use some of our our favorites are naturally nutty okay which is a a couple from traverse city michigan oh cool and they actually sell whole foods and plum market and i think i've farms. seen their jars are like kind of cute they're, they're like yeah. kind of like a, a actually, muted green color on there this is the okay yeah i think i remember nutty. seeing them okay. and what i like about it is that we get these big buckets uh -huh. um like every couple of weeks and it's all freshly ground and oh, it's that's all so really cool. nice. And, and you were just telling me something about the oats that you use here? Well, we use um, organic gluten-free oats and we get get this off in the food co-op. Okay. And then um, our chocolate is amazing. I love chocolate. Who doesn't love, well, some people don't love chocolate and that's um, okay. This is Mindo chocolate. Oh, I think I have heard of them. Mindo chocolate makers out of Dexter, Michigan. And look at this. Okay. Look at how beautiful. Beautiful, oh, beautiful, beautiful. I'd beautiful. say give me some, but that's kind of big. Yeah. So. <laughs> now, the, the oats that you have, are they, do you know if they're grown in pure fields? Or are they mechanically separated? I'm assuming you they're know, grown in I pure fields. I don't know. I'm, assume, I'm hoping they're pure because we're getting organic, you know, right. like certified um, organic uh, gluten-free oats and they're certified gluten-free yes okay cool yes. thank yes. you for that answer i appreciate yes. one of my viewers is just asking that question okay. so it's cool that we're Good able question. to Good to question. um talk back and forth um i was talking to your husband about this awesome bread that you make and 
it's dark brown because it's made with teff, folks. Lots of hearty whole grain goodness to teff. So tell me more about your loaf of bread here. You can tell me there's some other really good stuff about it too. Okay. Um, yeah, I chose teff because my husband um, is Israeli and okay. he was reading an article in his Israeli paper online mm-hmm. that um, teff is an Ethiopian grain that's mm-hmm. a powerhouse right. grain, which is loaded with really good stuff. Mm-hmm. And so I wanted to try it out. I wanted to check out the flavor and I love it. It's really nice. It's got a really nice nutty flavor. Um, uh, our breads are vegan and, um, you know, we just, again, try to use really mm-hmm. good stuff with the teff and we use the flour blend, which is um, sweet rice flour, sorghum flour, arrowroot and um, tapioca and xanthan gum mm-hmm. and then we use some almond meal and um either chia or flax seeds depending i'd use chia in the teff mm-hmm. and some molasses and um psyllium, uh, psyllium husks now i'm glad you said molasses because in my my gluten-free bakery search somebody asked me is there are there any bakers on the list that make a molasses cookie by any chance you make a molasses cookie i do around the holidays Oh, sweet. I'll have to okay. answer that person. They will be excited now, to hear this. Here's my dilemma with the molasses cookies. Okay. I don't like molasses cookies. Okay. So I don't like to make things that I don't like because I want some... them to be amazing. And mm-hmm. what I think is amazing, is mm-hmm. my opinion, obviously. So I'm not going to be likely to try a uh, molasses cookie. And I don't really know if my molasses cookies are so great. Because you don't like them in general. Like general. Gotcha. No, so, I feel you on that. But I'm definitely up for suggestions. Awesome. So um, I know that you sell your products in a lot of places, and mm-hmm. I wrote about that on my article. So if you haven't mm-hmm. seen my article um, about Tasty Baker, you can find it on my blog, mygluteinfreegal.blogspot.com, or you can go find me on Facebook, My Gluten Free Gal. Um, and they're all listed there, including Julie's article about Tasty Bakery. Um, so there's lots of places you sell them. Do any restaurants use that bread? Uh, no. No, okay. No, and I, it's, it's not cheap. It's not cheap to make. Okay. We, we try to keep it as low as we can, but I think if to wholesale it, it would be really hard okay. for us to make any money. I also want to tell people that we sell online, too. Oh, you sell mm-hmm. online. Yes. Oh, well, that's good to know online. because people need, there are a lot of people that need vegan stuff, and it's hard to find. Yeah. And then... You know, people like that you're using fair trade stuff. That mm-hmm. that that's a big plus. So, what are these cookies over here that look really tasty? Well, we've got uh, flourless peanut butter cookies. We've got vegan brownies. Uh, we've got some chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, that's what I was eyeing. Like those look yeah. really really these amazing. Are, these are what I call regular. Um, uh-huh. They have the the dairy and the eggs. We also okay. use organic cane cane sugar in these. Okay. Whereas if you were to get vegan. They would be obviously, you right. know, um, no animal animal products, and we also use coconut sugar. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I think those are all the questions I have. Um, anything else that you'd like to tell my viewers? Or I can't think so. I can't think of anything else. So I, it was interesting getting here. Can you describe, if someone wanted to come here to the bakery, what would be the best way to get to the actual bakery? Okay, it is a little tricky to find. We are in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and we're across from the YMCA, which is, YMCA is actually on Williams, but it backs up to Huron, mm-hmm. and we're across the street, and we're next to the, just took back to the left of the yellow barn. We're in the back. Okay. And come visit us. All right, in well. Sweet place. We, and you are sweet. I Thanks. really appreciate taking the time, because folks, she was open the bakery to me after closing hours. That's very generous, so thank you very much, Julie. No problem. And I'm going to try to save this, hopefully, because Periscope has been not my friend today. And thank you for the hearts. <laughs> Thanks, Bree, for watching. Thank we'll, you, guys. Thank bye. you very much.